Netflix has seen months of growth as more people seek home entertainment during the pandemic. In its second quarter, the company says it added more than 10 million subscribers globally and made more than $6 billion in revenue. Now the company's founder and co-CEO, Reed Hastings, has a new book, No Rules Rules, Netflix and the Culture of reinvention. It's about what he says is an unorthodox company culture leading to greater success. Reed Hastings, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Yay. Thank you very much. You, your book is based on a 127 slide PowerPoint that you put together back in 2009 <laughs> to, to uh, sort of lay out your company's culture. But one of the things that you, you point out is that the aim of the culture is to give him, your employees freedom like avoiding rules, which would seem to be a contradiction when you have a 127 point slide presentation. How do you explain that? It takes a lot of slides to talk about freedom and you know we've had such success at trying to create uh, shows and films that people are going to love and a lot of that is because we give our employees freedom. What do you mean when you say freedom? I mean that people get to make decisions throughout the company. Um, people get to decide, uh, let's commission this show. I don't have to get five levels of approval. Or let's do this feature. I don't need to get five levels of approval. So we encourage people throughout the company to make decisions. You also talk about transparency and communication. Absolutely. I mean, if people are going to make decisions, then you want to give them a lot of information. We call it context. And so what the book really does is go through from an organizational view, how do you set things up so you can have a lot of freedom without having chaos? Yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you got to buy the book, Anthony. No <laughs> rules, rules. Oh, come but, on! <laughs> really, it's it's our it's our internal. You know, this is really aimed at organizations yeah. um, who are trying to have employees be excited about what's going on in their company. And in our case, that's helped us move from DVDs that we were big in a decade ago right. to being popular and successful in film and television. You you write that that Netflix's success is based in uh, on having a star in every position by using what you call the keeper test. Explain what that is. Sure. Um, we're like a professional sports team. <clears throat> and if you're going to win a championship in professional sports, you have to have an amazing player in every position. And so we push our managers to think about, do they have the right people? And by that, we say the keeper test. Would they work to keep the person if that person were going to another company? You, uh, does that breed a content of, I mean, does that breed a culture of fear, though? Some people suggest it might. You know, there are pockets of that, um, but not generally. Think of great athletes. They can get injured at any time, but they don't focus on the fear. They focus on the joy, the fun, the excellence, the competition, the winning. And that's like our employees, too. You released 2,700 uh, hours of original content last year, almost double what you did the year before. Uh, but production has been shut down. Uh, it's now restarted, uh, starting gradually. Uh, how are you going to how are you going to keep this flow of content in in the current climate? Well, the stuff we're working on now and producing now will be on next year. And we're able to produce a little bit in the U.S., but uh, Canada we're able to produce in, uh, Europe, uh, Asia. So we've got a great lineup for next year. What about safety precautions on the, produc on the production sets? Yeah, they're extensive, as you would imagine, you know, testing when you enter. Um, so lots of protocols to keep people safe. Um, but it is a struggle. I mean, this COVID's a tough situation, um, but we're doing enough testing to make people uh, feel safe and to make sure that we can you know, produce great content where, you know, you don't notice that there's any COVID. Um as we reported on this broadcast, uh, you and your wife, Patty, announced uh, an extraordinary $120 million contribution to support scholarships at historically black colleges uh, and university. But yet your website lists uh, only two people of color uh, between your company's upper ranks. Do you have a plan to diversify Netflix? 
So our website for executives uh, lists about 20 people and the senior executives, and five of them are leaders of color. Um, so uh, we're about 25% uh, leaders of color and about 50% women, 50% men. Um, it's on the website under directors and officers. So you, so you, are you satisfied with the diversification you have then? We're making great progress compared to where we were three years ago. But really, diversity is about having such curiosity about you know the many different stories that people bring. And the more diversity we have, the more interesting the stories we tell are. All right, Reed Hastings, thank you very much. The book is No Rules Rules. It is on sale today.